Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. And our topic for this week is about the little ghost icon that's on the left-hand toolbar and how does it work and what is it for? And so we're going to talk about what is the ghost mode and how that works. And so if you're ready to get started, I'm going to bring my uh, workspace nice and large and um, point out that the tool is down um, on the, the left towards the bottom of this blue toolbar, there's a small ghost. And um, I guess the question is, what does it do? And um, how do you use it? So notice that if I click on the little ghost, my lettering will actually go away. Uh, but if I turn on the little ghost, it will come back. And that is simply because this lettering has already been hidden by using the eyeball. So if I turn the eyeball uh, on my sequence bar by clicking on it, notice that this is actually blue embroidery text. And um, if I click on it to select it, um, notice that when you have your embroidery selected, um, there's an eyeball over on the side that you could use to hide um, or show that in, it's for the entire color. You know, if you wanted to just show or hide one of these uh, text segments, you could change its color. So let's have a green, you know, greeny blue one and a darker blue one, uh, because now they each have an eyeball that, you know, could be turned on and off. And the ghost simply shows what's hidden. So if I unhide that or turn off the ghost, then when I hide my embroidery, it goes away. So it helps you to hide it. So the purpose of using the eyeball is to make a color be not selectable. It actually kind of almost makes it not part of the, it's like temporarily removing it from the design. Um, sometimes you still want to know where it is. So turning on ghost mode allows you to see it, but notice that I can't select it. You know, and if I click and drag, my text does not select. And so here's uh, maybe a better example would be, um, uh, I'm going to just remove the text and uh, look to the, you know, free monthly designs and open up uh, one of our, you know, Floriani free monthly designs. And so as always, when I bring in a design from my designs tab, it, it will be grouped together. So if I try to select the, the bike rider, it's really going to select everything, you know, and, and we can click on group. And, and then if I try to select the bike rider, um, you know, it just selects a piece of them because he's not all one thing is really, you know, a series of small pieces that make up the bike rider. And I could uh, come here to select it by just simply selecting the color blue, you know, and that's how I might do that. Um, if I wanted to select, you know, just part of the bike rider, um, you know, I could click and drag a box, but then it's click and dragging everything in the box, including yellow pieces as well as blue pieces. And so if you wanted to only see the blue pieces, that's when you would hide, you know, the whole, you would just hide the yellow color temporarily and this is where having ghost mode on will either show it where it is or not show where it is. So that's really the point of the tool is that you can turn off the yellow and make it not really accessible so that if I click and drag to, to you know, select part of this design, it won't select the yellow parts, you know, and I could change those, um, you know, select, you know, whatever parts that I wanted to, as long as they're not uh, the yellow parts, which are currently in ghost mode, if I unturn on the ghost mode, then they're actually fully hidden, which is kind of what the eyeball does. So really the eyeball that turns on and off a color uh, works in conjunction with the ghost mode. Because if you use your eyeball to hide the color blue, and then you turn on ghost mode, you can still see it. It's just kind of hidden from the design. And so that's what today's video was all about. Um, a lot of people ask the question, what's the little ghost for? And now you know it's for using um, to be able to see the elements that are hidden, but have them still be hidden elements uh, that you can't, you know, don't select when you select your design. So we hope you enjoyed this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. Until next week, have a great day. Thanks for listening and bye for now.